as you know that data science and ai is very promising technology nowadays and is very very important transition in the 21st century that is also stated by harvard university and that's why here i am here to provide the the road map to the enter into the data science and ai technology in 2024 as you know that when every technology changes to our transition to our life suppose in 90s when computers are coming everyone afraid about losing jobs but that is not happened and that computers are created more jobs that we are witness here in the same way when ai skills or ai technology is generating nowadays people are afraid about that they are losing the jobs that is not true so with the ai will create enormous applications in enormous fields and not only that AI will come to in our life now everyone in the future in next two three years everyone in other way somehow they will start using the AI technology so it is this is a very very promising career the data science and AI so I am here to help you how to achieve the career in the data science and AI in 2024 for that you need to divide the data science and AI technology into two parts in order to learn that one is tools and another one is the subjects when you come to the tools if you want to know some skill if you want to show that your skill on some platform definitely you required some uh, coding language so for that you need to learn first python programming language and then generally data science and ai people are will work on the data sets so you need to definitely work on the database operation kind of mysql or sql server and then third tool is if you want to visualize your data in the good manner then you want to learn one visualization tool and that is called power bi or tableau so this python sql Power BI or Tableau are the tools every data scientist aspirant must be learn. And then coming to the subjects, once you have a data is there, the data is, it is not a structured data, it is completely unstructured data. When unstructured data presents, you want to make into structured data and you want to organize the data and you want to make some insights the data from the data, you want to make some insights from the data, then you need to learn it technique called exploratory data analysis for that you need to learn a statistics okay so here so now the tools are python sql power bi or tableau that are the tools now for the eda purpose you need to learn about the statistics once this is completed then you need to learn about the machine learning model development algorithms and then after that you need to understand about the deep learning neural networks once deep learning neural networks is completed then you need to learn about the natural language processing called nlp not only that now this is the only one side of part and next side of part the current technology emerging in the ai is called generative ai so what is generative ai generative ai is nothing but it is based on a model called llm that is called large language models it is trained by enormous of data that means you no need to provide some input you can just ask some questions it try to give the give the answers is best answers so that also you need to learn for example generative ai examples are chat gpt is by open ai or azure and also gemini ai is from the google that is my name is omkar nalagoni currently working as a lead data scientist with 11 plus years of industry experience also i am the lead trainer in the naresh ai technologies so we naresh it here will provide the, all these technologies all these tools and subject from scratch level to advanced level in very detail so anyone can learn this course and those who are completed minimum to complete the undergraduation program any graduation so we will meet in that session thank you